Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good, good afternoon. Such a, a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Look at this beautiful place. Oh, Haiying, you have to show yourself. Anyway, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful place. And uh, this is uh, Musée des Beaux Arts de Lyon. So it's um, it's Lyon uh, in France, Lyon Fine Art Museum. It was hosted in hosted the the art museum stationed in the U in in an abbey abbey and uh, in the um, a, a church establishment or something I am not religious I do not know the meaning anyway uh, it's in a huge huge building and uh, the collection is absolutely impressive and something more impressive that is the most impressive that make Lyon Fine Art Museum stand out, at least for me, is the casualness, is the commonness of this place. You do not feel feared. You do not feel intimidated. You feel very comfortable in this place for some reason. I think one of the reasons is because uh, uh, there are just so, so, so many artworks. Their collection is next to Louvre in Paris. So there is a huge collection of of the artwork and they just uh, put it there in the beauty and uh, there are dust gathering and uh, and uh, just to put uh, you feel that feel like nothing and it's just uh, so impressive that they have so many beautiful good things okay I will better talk about the artwork the artwork in front of our eyes is Minerva and the name is called Minerva but uh, in Greek mythology it uh, was uh, uh, it was Athena Lyon used to be a Gaul capital, a, a Roman capital of Gaul. Roman came to France, to the Gaulois, to the Gaul land, and find this place. Wow, this place has two rivers connecting each other and uh, uh, conf confluence, uh, confluence into each other and uh, it's a perfect place for for commerce for strategic so this place is a roman capital and uh, this picture in front of us this sculpture in front of us is Asina. look at the beautiful work and uh, on her left hand she holds an olive branch, the sign of peace, of love, and on her right hand it was a lance, it's a, a sword, a long stick with a sharp thing, in Chinese we call it Mao, I do not know the English word, it's like a sword, the Asinas weapon. And so she has peace, love, justice in her hand. She is a goddess of, of war, of, 
of peace, of love, of everything. Asina is one of the highest goddess. I remember there was one time I asked my student, second grade student, or maybe first grade that year. She said her goddess is Asina. She was so much into Greek mythology. And uh, and on Asina's front, uh, I'm a little bit too late, on the front is Medusa. So Asina helped Perseus fight with Medusa. And uh, so the Medusa's eye, when Medusa, Medusa, is such a such a, a powerful figure. There are people thought about her differently. There were people which um, politically, for some politically reason, and thought her differently anyway. Her eyes people who meet with her eyes will turn into stone, so turn into rock, stone. So that was the power of it. And this one, I, I kind of forget it. It must be, um, this must be, I, Leto, I think this is Leto. totally forgot this one. Anyway, it's just beautiful. So in in fine art museum there are several big collections and uh, sculpture is one of their major part and they have uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, sculptures. Roman sculptures, as you can imagine, used to be the capital uh, of a uh, uh, Roman capital of Gaul, used to be uh, occupied by Roman. So there are a lot of uh, Roman artworks. All these, this one is, this one is, I forgot. Maybe I need to go back to see it. There are just the, the smoothness of the rock and the figure. They are. They are. They make me speechless. I'm just not. Uh, my, my my vocabulary, my knowledge is not enough to explain it. I was amazed by the detail, by the vividness of uh, the expression of uh, such a silky, sumptuous body in in such an admirable way. Human are beautiful. Living things are beautiful. Things are beauty because of its strength like the lion. Because of its viciousness because it's bruteness because of its its innate quality and the beauty of human comes from the beautiful body the beautiful spirit comes out of it It's impressive. And this is uh, uh, Hodan's August 
Rodin, Rodin's uh, artwork. So they have collections of uh, of uh, very established, famous artists and and just a pure good artworks. And this one is uh, uh, Percy, Perseus, Percy, kill Medusa, curses, Percy's fight with Medusa. We have talked about the story, read about the story in one, in one of our videos the snake hair gorgon and uh, the suffer of medusa it's just very very impressive and this one I think this is a uh, spring. Oh no, this is just a young lady. The name of this is uh, a young lady. And uh, the, the decryption, the expression, the artistic rendering of this beautiful young lady at her very best prime stage is just captivating it's it's scary to be so beautiful And uh, there is another section, uh, paintings. Huge, huge paintings. Beautiful paintings. You spend the whole afternoon there, just looking at them. and uh, mesmerized by the detail, by the expression. Look at the, the flower, the layer of flower, the shape and shade of the flower. When you zoom in, you find it's just color, right? It's just layers of color. But uh, when you put further away, zoom out, it's such a vivid color and vivid shape, vivid flower with life. Isn't it magical? Artists are, ah, oh, sorry. Artists are magicians. And this leaf, at the beginning, I was thinking, oh, how do they put a, a branch on top of it? And it's painted, the light of it and the light reflection of it, it's magical. Look at this young lady, so pure, so innocent, she must be dreaming, she has her dream. 
her wish, her sorrow, her sadness, there is just so much in a piece of painting. And actually, oh, this one is light reflecting the uh, a study of light reflection. You can see the sunlight on the pot. This is Leon, the Gume gastronomy, gastronomy capital of uh, France. Of course, there are. Oh, this is Remy Hadadoui. Remy. <laughs> this is Hadadoui. And this is uh, the little Remy, <laughs> but not uh, a mouse, a cat. But it's cuckoo. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Hadadoui? And uh, Paul Bocuse was from Lyon, and uh, he used to to he, he he used to live have uh, had a restaurant in one of the old town. I haven't been there. I haven't seen. Maybe I will visit there and look at the wave. This is uh, Monet's painting. Claude Monet and the wave. And the impressionists really, from further away, you see the waves. But when you go close, you just see an unruled brush strokes, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. And which is true. When the water runs, runs fast, that's unruled movements. So look at these paintings. I was suddenly had uh, a moment of enlightenment. Anyway, we always have this. We understand it's a recording of history. But when I see those paintings, I start to think, that's a documentary movie. That's a star story movie. That's a big, huge industrial production movie. That's a novel, that's a book, that's a story. Painting used to be our TV program. T painting used to be our, our uh, 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 movie, our theater. It's another way of expressing our human healing, feeling, human history, human culture. Just so interesting so very interesting. A good painter is a good storyteller. It's encouraging to think about it. I want to paint stories. I want to make stories. So this is the courtyard of uh, the museum, it has a huge courtyard. Under the sunshine, you can see that I, I have seen trees and flower, but that sitting at that particular moment is just magical, magical. And I was sitting there enjoying some, some rest. I was very, very tired, exhausted just sit there and in front of me in the neighboring chair a little bit not very close about um, 30 yards 40 yards away 10 20 minutes away I saw a figure of white color white top t-shirt white pants Bandalon and white hair, completely white, 
not my gray, silvery salt pepper hair, white hair. A young lady. I was thinking, wow, she looks so, so good, just so good. And then she turned around. She's around my age, I think. Just so beautiful, so beautiful. She is in her 50s or 60s, I guess, very well taken care of. I am only guessing. I like to make story of people. I am guessing about uh, through her appearance. It just... Human. We can be us.